So what types of positions in the cybersecurity sphere are especially in demand in, in where, where you are in the federal defense industry? What type of, are there like high demand for pen testers, security engineers, risk analysts, all of the above? What, what do you see currently people are eagerly trying to fill at this moment? Yeah, you know, as I, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think the federal defense industry can afford to think of themselves as a unique industry anymore. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are characteristics that are unique, but they're, they're not anymore. They are pulling from the same talent pool that others are pulling through across many, many sectors, right? And mm -hmm. lots of overlapping missions, I'll say, between both commercial, private, and federal um, so cyber is such a broad term, I think you really can find any kind of specialty these days existing within that broader cyber, cyber ecosystem. Um, so I think it really transcends industry. Uh, you know, it's in health, it's in transportation, it's in mm -hmm. finance and banking, uh, right? It's, it's across every industry now. All that having been said, um, I do think while there's opportunity just about anywhere, some of the specific things I'm seeing, particularly um, you know, with the pandemic, there mm -hmm. was a critical need for that kind of advanced, very flexible, secure technology platforms. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting angle um, yeah. that I don't think is gonna go away to our discussion about working sure. remotely, right? I think that's gonna continue. But then in general, uh, right, you look at some, if you think of the general technology trends that are out there, right, cloud integration, which some may think most of the world has already gone through, well, the IC hasn't always gone through it at the same pace as the rest of the world. So implementing data science and machine learning and artificial intelligence solutions are very high demand areas for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then the pure cybersecurity side of things, right, the the pen testing, as you mentioned earlier, yep. that's a piece of it, but it's sure. also, you know, more thoughtful than that, right? Things like 5G, zero trust, embedded analysis, okay. cyber mm -hmm. defense, all of that is incredibly high demand, um, in, again, in my corner of the world. So for people who are, are again, just getting started or, or maybe still in college or, or sort of examining their options, but they know that they want to sort of get into sort of federal roles. Are there any particular, you know, obviously, you know, security clearances and, and things are things they need to start thinking about and, and preparing for, but are there any other sort of uh, skills or like, like, you know, what would be your sort of like your all in one starter kit for like, I want to, I want to, you know, get work in, in the federal government, and I don't know where to start, like, where, where would, where would you start apart from continuing your cyber training? Um, well, so I, I think there's always a role for folks with technology experience. Mm -hmm. So whether that's as um, a software developer, a systems engineer, um, some kind of a data scientist, I think all those roles have a very, um, there's a very strong need for those. Um, I, I think, um, you know, I would say part of it is, um, exposing yourself to um, not just what what you find interesting, but you know, listening to things like podcasts, being out there, checking in on blogs, uh, mm -hmm. on things that are important to you. Kind of the networking piece, which right. isn't a word I like to use because it scares me a little bit. I'm I'm not I'm not into networking, but I learned <laughs> I had to do it. Yeah. Uh, but it, it gets back to that curiosity piece, right? Being curious. Um, right and just looking to learn, make it less about networking and more about looking to learn. I think that's the best thing you can do. And if seriously, I think just about any degree could launch you into this work. Um, I don't think it's about okay. having to have an engineering degree. New episodes of the Cyberwork podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn to stay up to date on all things cyberwork.